Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. The tensions between Asylum continue. However, the Wicked One, the Jersey Devil, has said that he will take, and I quote, orgasmic pleasure in letting everybody know where his allegiances stand, be it with the Kindred or Asylum. But the music is playing from American Smile, Eagle of Justice. As you can see, the Eagle of Justice, Sage, is out here at ringside as he is singing his theme song like a goofy little boy. But the fun is over soon, as he will soon be doing battle with Major Morpheus Morenci. Announcement. And he's talking about public service announcements, and the music for Major Morpheus Morenci has hit over the speakers at Murphy's Gym and here he comes, Major Morpheus Morenci, looking to three-peat at the third annual number yard coming up in just two weeks at Legacy 2006. Last week, after Sage lost his public service announcements to Shatso Bannigan, he had to drink the rest of Shatter's boot. And uh, let's just say that it made for a sloshing time for Sage, and when he couldn't hold himself together, he couldn't stop laughing when Morenzi asked if he was laughing at him, he got himself a boiling point on the concrete locker room floor last week. Sage is definitely taking the lumberyard match. No, you And this contest is officially underway. The bell has rung. It is Major Morpheus Morenzi against Sage. Oh, Sage gets slammed down onto the mat by the Terminator himself, Major Morpheus Morenzi. Screw that movie. Screw that movie crap. We got ourselves the real Terminator here in WAW. And his name is Major Morpheus Morenzi as he shoves Sage down to the mat again. And you gotta believe Morenzi will look to terminate many opponents at the Lumberyard match. Coming up in two weeks, we have six participants currently signed up. You never know if uh, some former faces will make their way back for this Lumberyard match last year. So, uh, we saw Sky, we saw Skin, we saw Major Morpheus Morenzi all make the returns from the injured list. Hey, you never know, we could see many other people make some returns. But that will be found out in two weeks at the Lumberyard match. Morenzi tried to hoist Sage up, but the weight was too much for Morenzi. And Sage came crashing down on the Major. Major sent it to the turnbuckle back first. And we get a DDT. Single arm DDT hooked by Sage, driving the face and cranium of Major Morpheus Morenzi into the canvas. That's about to get Irish Whip into the turnbuckle again. He's got him coming out, sidewalk slam. Sage now picking up the major once again. What's he going to do with him here? Looks like we're going again. Another turnbuckle in again. Comes out, gets caught in the stomach. What are we going to see here? Suplex attempt from Sage. Yes, suplex attempt completed successfully by Sage. What are you doing, Buster? I'm going to get hit in hard for the fourth time. Took out by Sage. Sage has him. Oh! Oh, Morenzi doesn't fall back onto the knees. A little too smart for that one. And he stomps away at the chest of Sage. Now hammered away, backs him off the ropes. Sends him off the opposite side. And we got a close line. Nearly takes the head off the Eagle of Justice's shoulder. What a close line there. The master of the close line, Major Morpheus Morenzi. And we get a two count there after that devastating close line by the Major. Morenzi has Sage up on his feet now, hammering away. Oh man, Tree of Woes, can he get him up in the Tree of Woes? Oh, no he can't, Sage moves out of the way. Sage sacrificing his own head and neck for that one, and he gets caught with a flying clothesline. I think he should have just stayed in that Tree of Woes, he might have been better off. Sage now being brought into the corner by Morenzi. Morenzi gonna try for the Tree of Woes once again. Hooking that foot, and he's got him. Here we go, right in the corner, Morenzi. Stomping away there. 
Well, not so much stomping as he was grinding his boot into the balls of Sage. And hey, we just saw a bit of crack. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this time to tell all the kids out there to say no to crack. In any event, Sage gets fall away and slam after that brief uh, public service announcement on my part about drug use. And I'd say it was uh, more interesting than any of Sage's public service announcements. Oh, he gets the boiling point. Sage was falling onto his back at that time, and we only get a two. Wait a second, it's the sky. The sky calling for Marissi to come out to the outside of the ring into no man's land where everything is legal. Oh, he gets his legs pulled out from underneath him, and the sky is attacking on the floor, but Marissi is hammering back. Oh, Marissi gets thrown face first into the ring post and into the brick wall. The sky takes Marenzi, sends him into the ring. Sage is down in the corner. He's faking an injury so the sky can attack here in the ring. Oh, super kick right to Marenzi. Sends him into the corner. Sky now has Marenzi up in the corner. Could it be the sky flow? Yes, it is. Sky flow using the ropes for the assist. Major Morpheus Marenzi is just laid out by the sky. Sage now has Marinci, he's got that arm hooked, could it be? Follow the leader, yes it is. We got a cover, no way, one, two, and three. Sage with a huge upset victory with an assist from the sky, no less, here on Aftermath. And this is Sage's first televised win. He picked up a non-televised victory against Jimmy Fox back on January the 21st. Oh, wait a second. Another sky flow. Oh, another sky flow. The sky helps Sage get a victory. And this time, he lays him out with a sky flow. The sky leaving plenty of laid out bodies. Marinci up on his feet after that sky flow and the fall of the leader. Sage powering away from Major Morpheus Marinci. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to find out exactly where the Jersey Devils Alliances lie as he will be doing battle with Mr. Psycho in singles action. Will he lay down for Mr. Psycho and take a loss, joining the Kindred, revealing that he's been with them all along, or will he remain with Asylum? We'll find out coming up next. WAWWrestling.com presents yet another classic legacy moment. Once again, we take you back to 2004. Legacy 2006 is now just two weeks away on April the 29th. 